Chengsheng and I found a hidden compartment. This is what was hidden inside. Ah, you sense it too? You're right. This is a poison concocted using god remains. Uh, is it breathing? Paimon's not seeing things, is she? Your eyes do not deceive you. I do believe the poison in this bottle is alive. Some toxins act a lot like living organisms. I read about this once in the origins and symptoms of diseases. This ancient class of poisons consists of mother and minor loads, capable of sustaining a connection over vast distances. If it's a concoction of this kind we're dealing with, then both the poison in Jia Liang's system and this one here are likely minor loads. Offshoots, essentially. Offshoots? So the main body is somewhere else? Correct. Whoever is administering the poison can manipulate the source to indirectly control the poisoned individual's behavior and even cognition. Similarly, the poisoned individual will hear, to a varying extent, the call of the source. The call of the... Wait, so back when Jia Liang ran off, maybe that explains where he was heading! Only one thing could have been drawing him there. The source of the god remains used as the poison's key ingredient, the mother load. Ugh, this is getting crazier and crazier. What kind of person would do all this just to poison Jia Liang? <clears throat> hey, why has everyone gone quiet all of a sudden? Since this poison was carefully hidden away in a secret compartment, the one who concocted it is likely a resident of the house. You mean, Jia Liang? Why would he poison himself? Think a little harder, Paimon. Someone else who lives here, and who might have expertise in crafting drugs. Huh? So you're saying... <gasps> it was Jiang Li? Wait, but that doesn't make any sense either. Why would she poison her own house? I agree. It makes little sense. Jiang Li does not strike me as the kind of person who would do such a thing. Look at the facts, though. How many people in the entirety of Li Yue have the ability to concoct a poison from god remains? Hmm. It's too early to draw any conclusions. We should question Jia Liang about it once he has made more progress in his recovery. Yes. According to the origins and symptoms of diseases, the minor loads will disappear if the mother load is purged. So if we can find and destroy the source of these god remains, the poison will leave Jia Liang's system without the need for any further treatment. Do you know anything about god remains in Qingsa village? <sighs> Even the history books have no record of this. The only ones who'll know anything are those old fogies who have been hanging around here since the beginning of time. Hmm. Didn't you used to be on good terms with the Adepti, though? You sure they didn't tell you anything about this? Well, uh... <clears throat> Chengsheng's memories and powers are not what they were in her prime. These days, she has to enter a contract with a mortal and share their life force just to sustain her own life. I fear that such ancient events are long gone from her memory by now. Whoa, what? After a contract? Share life force? Sounds like some pretty spooky sorcery if you ask Paimon. Hey, plenty of people would jump at the chance to join forces with a powerful being like me. With my assistance in rebalancing your chi, not only can you extend your lifespan, but you will also be stronger, healthier, and able to eat whatever you like with no risk of upsetting your stomach. Stronger and healthier? Wow, that's amazing! Uh, Baiju, maybe when you retire, you can let Paimon sign a contract with Chengsheng for a few days. <laughs> Unfortunately, Chengsheng's contract has strict requirements regarding the host's temperament. None of her hosts have ever been exempted from these rules. I fear that I will be unable to accommodate your wishes, Paimon. Temperament? Uh, hey! What are you trying to say? Did you just subtly 
the insult Paimon to her face? Ugh! Paimon's mad! You're getting ugly nicknames, both of you! Baiju, you're... Mannequin Man! Chung Chung, you're just... a pain in the neck! This is exactly why your natural temperament makes you woefully unsuited to being my host. All right, everybody, calm down. Back to the matter at hand. Is there any way at all for us to seek counsel from the Adepti about this? With how antisocial they are? If it were up to them, they'd go their whole lives without showing their faces to the common folk. What? <laughs> Seems you're as well connected as they say, Traveler. We are truly fortunate to have you on our side. Oh, if you're talking about who Paimon thinks you're talking about, you better do the honors. You called? Ah! Gets Paimon every time. Uh, are all Adepti in the habit of materializing out of thin air like this? Well, this is unexpected. Huh? It's you. Baiju of Boo Boo Pharmacy. I do believe I've had the pleasure before. The Lantern Rite, when we met briefly, I was unaware of your true identity. I must apologize for the discourtesy. Huh? You two already know each other? Our paths have crossed once before. I sense the presence of evil spirits. Is this why you called me? <sighs> so someone has been concocting demonic poison. Too often, fervent desires drive mortals to abandon all regard for their own safety. It is lamentable. I now know what you seek. It is true that a god's remains are buried beneath the foundations of Chinksa village. A vile monster known as the Chu once wrought havoc over this land, before it was subdued by Rex Lapis. The land was finally cleansed of poison when Rex Lapis used statues in his likeness to seal the serpent's remains. Chinksa village was founded some time after that. The seal is still mostly intact. If the Chu is the source, then it must be some of its blood leaking from deep underground. However, its aura is faint and barely detectable. You will need to investigate further to identify the location of the leak. I do not like to intervene against mortals unless absolutely necessary. But when demonic forces are involved, things can spiral out of control. If that happens, be sure to call my name again. Hmm. Hmm? Nothing. I do not wish to sway decisions that are mortals to make, but... Immortality may not be the blessing that you imagine it to be. I shall treasure your words of instruction, Master Adeptus. Farewell. What a strange Adeptus. Rather different from the way I remember them. That's you for ya! And thanks to him, we finally got some concrete info to go off of. If the god remains are leaking from underground, Jiang Li must be paying a visit to a subterranean cave on her herb gathering trips. Hmm. If we can find the cave. <laughs> Ma master Master, there's a problem. Gray? Did you run all the way from Boo Boo Pharmacy? What happened? Don't panic. Just catch your breath and tell me everything. It's it's Jiao Yang. Uh, he was he was fine one minute and then he suddenly took a turn for the worse. Already? How? Based on past experience, he should have been fine for the next three days at least. It seems that my worst fears have been confirmed. Everyone, back to Boo Boo Pharmacy now! Dad! What's wrong? Dad? 
Don't be scared. Dr. Baishu will be back soon. How is he doing? Dr. Baishu, you're back! My dad was doing fine earlier, but then he suddenly started coughing up blood. Now he can't even get a full word out anymore. When Gui left, he was still conscious, but now... Gui, please take Jia Liang to the back room and prepare for treatment. Yes, of course. Don't worry, Ayu. I will cure your father. How are you feeling, Dad? Are you still hurting anywhere? You're not gonna suddenly collapse again, are you? Ah, much better, Ayu. I'm feeling much better. In fact, I can't explain it, but somehow I feel even better than usual. Hmm. Wait, where's Dr. Burbuju? I still haven't had a chance to thank him. Seems he moved me here before I came too. Master said he needed to take a quick rest and asked me to bring you out of the treatment room. He hasn't emerged yet, so he must still be resting. Oh, really? Well, he must be tired from treating me for two nights in a row. <sighs> I don't know how I can begin to repay him for saving my life. I'll have to discuss it properly with Jiang Li once we find her. Hmm. Speaking of which, uh, has there been any word of her whereabouts yet? No, the Adventurer's Guild hasn't gotten back to me yet. I'll go check with them again in a bit. I'll come with... <sighs> Don't forget what Master said. You're still not out of the woods yet, Jia Liang. I strongly suggest that you stay and rest at Boo Boo Pharmacy for now. I can accompany Ayu to the Adventures Guild. <sighs> I suppose you're right. I'll have to rely on you this time. Though, on the bright side, this means I can thank Dr. Baiju in person once he's finished resting. Traveler? Baiju hasn't shown his face ever since he went in to treat Tia Liang again. Do you think he... Huh? Hey, wait up! Uh, huh? You're finally awake? <sighs> that was far too risky. Even with me here to help you balance your chi. There was no time. I had no other choice. In any case, it was not completely without benefit to myself. I managed to learn something. Jiang Li's design is quite brilliant. She makes numerous innovations that I can learn from. Alas, if only there wasn't a catch. So, how much longer do you think Baishu's gonna nap for? They've been outside waiting for you the whole time while you were asleep. Shall we at least go and show our faces? <sighs> All right. Surely he hasn't. There's no way he could have just... Who's talking behind our backs again? Ah! Baizu! Changsheng! <sighs> of course. There's no need to be concerned. I merely had to transfer a rather large amount of life force on this occasion. But, with Changsheng's help, I will recover in time. Jia Liang seemed fine yesterday. Why did he need more life-saving treatment again so soon? I... made an error in my initial diagnosis. Jia Liang is in fact suffering from more than one ailment, and as a result, his life force depleted at a greater rate than I had anticipated. What? You mean, even if you got all the poison out of him, he'd still be sick? Yes. But more pertinently, the poison in Jia Liang's system is there precisely because it is being used to manage his underlying medical condition. Jia Liang has a rare congenital heart condition, and ongoing treatment is essential to maintaining healthy functioning of his heart meridian. Left untreated, it puts the patient at risk of coughing up blood and fainting, and in the longer term, causes irreversible damage to the internal organs. Though it was created from god remains, 
This formula is not a poison in Jia Liang's case. Rather, it's his medication. Had he not taken it all these years, he likely would have died a long time ago. Still, using poison to treat a disease is hardly a viable long-term solution. As time passed, and the poison accumulated in his system, it began to impact his cognition. Moreover, the longer he relied upon this medicine, the more resistant his body became to it. Jiang Li had to concoct ever greater quantities to ensure its continued efficacy, or he could have still perished at any moment. That explains why Ayu said his death worse, and why his mom went off to gather herbs. God remains are extremely dangerous to be around, because humans have no natural defense against them. I shudder to think how many times Jiang Li has exposed herself to them. I fear that the situation is just as that Adeptus described. In an effort to save Jia Liang's life, Jiang Li has abandoned all regard for her own safety. I never suspected that even Jiang Li would turn to the same path as so many others over the years. Perhaps this is the inevitable course of fate. To sacrifice one's own life to save others. To go beyond human means in order to do the impossible, whatever the cost may be. Well, I think that it's too early to say with any certainty what fate has in mind. In any case, I have stabilized Jia Liang's condition for now, so our immediate priority should be to get ourselves back to Qingsa village and find out where Jiang Li is. Her regular exposure to God Remains over such a long period will have been catastrophic for her health. And given that she's already been missing for several days, I am fearing the worst. It's me, Traveler, Dr. Baiju. You overheard everything already. Dr. Baiju, please let me come with you. You've already done so much for my family. I can no longer just sit here and watch while you put yourself at risk for Jiang Li's sake. After all, if it wasn't for me, she wouldn't have had to put herself in harm's way in the first place. I know I won't be of much help in battle, but at the very least, I can show you the way. I'm sure I'll be able to remember. I know there's a spot where she says goodbye to me every time she goes to gather her herbs. I'm sure I'll remember. I, I have to remember. <coughs> be careful. If you get too agitated, your blood pressure and stress levels will rise, putting further pressure on your heart. For your own safety, you should stay here and rest. No! We're out of time! We have to go now. Right now. Before I forget everything again. Hmm. This trip will be extremely dangerous, and there is a very real possibility that you will not return from it. Are you sure you're prepared for that? <laughs> I never expected to live this long in the first place. My death is already long overdue, so why should I fear it? There's only one thing I fear now, and that's that I'll forget her again before we manage to find her. Very well. Then follow me. Dr. Baiju? Are you heading out again? Yes. This could be a long one. Could you please prepare a dose of the usual formula? Please add an extra measure of mist grass pollen and one dose each of the ingredients from the third and fifth compartments of my medicine cabinet. I hope it works. Uh, Dr. Baishu, do you mean... Hop to it now, and remember to be careful with the cauldron this time. You don't want to burn yourself again. Okay. Uh, 
That strange feeling is back. It's just like the day I went missing. It's as if something inside me is trying to guide me somewhere. The Motherlode's influence is growing stronger. But is it because we're getting closer to the source? Or because the leakage of Chu blood is growing more severe? Jia Liang, can you sense which direction the source is in? I think it's... Uh, this way. Yes, I'm sure of it. I feel a dull ache in my heart. <sighs> this must be the way. This place feels familiar. I think I've been here before. Hmm. There is an inauspicious presence here. Even I can sense it. I think I remember this place. <sighs> Jia Liang, are you okay? Uh, maybe you should rest here while we continue the search. No, I have to keep going. Jiang Li is still waiting for me. Then <sighs> let's hurry. Digging marks here appear amateur, and rather old. I suspect it is a thieves' tunnel. A thieves' tunnel? Hmm. Paimon has heard rumors about treasure around these parts before. Maybe it was the treasure hoarders that dug this tunnel. Judging by the tools they left behind, it's certainly a possibility. But why did they abandon this place without even stopping to pack up their tools? Ah, I remember now. She took me here once and told me that she'd found a way to save me in this cave. But she... Uh, she said that the method would cause me to... Uh, 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 curses! Why can't I remember what she said? Easy, Jia Liang. Come on, let's keep going. here. Those treasure hoarders sure made themselves at home. I believe this sensor was used to burn a monster repelling incense. A monster repelling incense? Are uh, you sure? Because we did run into that group of monsters just now. The incense was burned several days ago. If I had to guess, the monsters we fought just now were enticed here by some entity deeper inside the cave. No doubt an encounter with the very same entity was what prompted the treasure hoarders to flee and abandon their designs on this cave. After them, Jiang Li was the next person to discover this place and what lies inside. But to her, it presented an opportunity to save Jia Liang's life, albeit as a last resort. That's right, the sensor. It belongs to Jiang Li. Yes, this was the place. This is where I told Jiang Li to give me the poison. <coughs> Jiao Liang! I'm fine. Let's keep going. I can feel it. She, she, she is right below us, waiting for me. I can feel it. We're getting close. We're almost there. It's right up ahead. The place where we made a pact together to... Ah! Uh, Li! Look out! Uh, there's a monster next to her! Dr. Baiju, how serious is it? Is she... I can still feel a pulse, but her condition is quite grave. 
The god remains here are encroaching on her cognition, much as the poison in your system did to you. If we don't eliminate it soon, then even if we save her life, I fear that she may never wake up again. Then, uh, what are we waiting for? Let's destroy the remains right away! It's not as simple as that. Don't you remember what Baiju said? The poison within Jialiang's body is inextricably linked to the god remains here. If the source is purged, the poison in his system will stop having any effect. Uh, and the poison within Jialiang's body is keeping his heart condition under control. So, if it stops working... Oh no. Are you saying... Indeed. If the god remains here are purged, then your life will come to an end. <sighs> I wondered when this day might come. Wait, wait, wait! But we've all been working our butts off to save Jia Liang's life! After all that, we can't just give up on him? Baiju, you're a great doctor! Surely you've got to know of some other way we can save him, right? You could continue to take the poison, which would buy you some time. As for Jiang Li, Maybe if we put our heads together, we can think of something? It appears to me that she was striving to concoct your medicine for you. Right up until the moment when she lost consciousness. Maybe it's her greatest wish that you will continue to take it and live. Dr. Baiju, give it to me straight. How long does Jiang Li have? The god remains have reached her internal organs. Under ordinary circumstances, I would give her less than three days. But if I were to treat her using a secret art... But, but what would be the point of that? Dr. Baiju, I'm all too aware of the dangers of God Remains. You are not the first to mention it to me. If I continue to sustain my own life using this wretched substance, not only would Jiang Li have to keep risking her life to make my medicine for me, Oh, but I would have to live with the looming threat of these remains breaking out and wreaking havoc not just upon me, but my entire family. I know for a fact that I should have died over a decade ago. The fact that I've been around to see how you grow up is already a great blessing from Rex Lapis. If my choice can bring Jiang Li back, then even if I... Uh, uh, even if I... die... Jia Liang. <laughs> After cheating death for so long, it seems I've grown somewhat addicted to life. <sighs> Traveler, Dr. Baiju, could I have another minute with my wife? I just want to have one final moment together. Just a moment, that's all. Of course. Thank you, everyone. And I'm sorry that I won't be able to repay your kindness in this life. <laughs> Jia Liang? Baiju Changsheng? Is there really nothing else you can do? I am sure that over the years, Jiang Li will have tried all the conventional methods known to humankind. As for less conventional methods, I have little expertise besides Changsheng's secret art. Mortals are fated to grow old and pass on when their natural lifespan runs out. If it were so easy to combat the natural processes of aging and death, Jiang Li would not have had to resort to unnatural methods. What a crazy situation! Jiang Li risked it all to save Jia Liang's life, and now Jia Liang has to sacrifice himself to save Jiang Li! What's the point of it all? I've seen many final farewells in my time, but I can never get used to it. In the human realm, all things must come to an end. Is it not a fitting end to die for a worthy cause? At least, that's what generations of masters before you have always believed. The path they chose was indeed a heroic one. But when I think of those who would willingly sacrifice themselves for others, I cannot help but think that theirs are the lives least deserving of death. 
When all this began, we agreed that once Ayu was old enough to help you gather herbs, it would be time for me to go. <laughs> if you could only see him now. He took me all the way to Liyue Harbor to see the doctor. And he even got the Adventurer's Guild to search. <laughs> so I know that you'll both be okay without me. <clears throat> I've said my goodbyes. My time has come. Do what you must. As you wish. at both your cognition and your memories. In the end, you'll become little more than a shadow of your true self. I'll take it. At the very least, it will allow me to stay with you and watch how you grow up. Mom, something's really wrong with Dad. Don't fret, Ayu. I will gather some medicinal herbs right away. I promise you, nothing will happen to our family. <clears throat> Why would these memories come to mind now? <sighs> the longer we live, the tighter we cling to what we have. Would love to hear to hear your voice one last time. Jaliang, 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 Jaliang. Dad, are you awake? Uh, Jiang Li, are you? Didn't I? Huh? What are these? How does it feel to come back to life? Do you feel strange or different in any way? If so, could you describe it to me in detail? Dr. Baishu, I... I thought that I was going to... <laughs> Die? You did indeed. As things stand now, you're more akin to a zombie than a human. I'm a zombie? That's right. Before we set off, I asked Chi-Chi to prepare an elixir of immortality. With its help, you have been suspended in the space between life and death. Of course, this is but a crude imitation of an adeptus art. I don't expect it to extend your life indefinitely. Whether it will keep you alive for a few days, a few months, or a few years, I'm as interested as you to find out. But, however long you have left, I believe it should be more than sufficient time for you to say your final goodbyes before departing the world in peace. I hope that Director Hu finds this arrangement to be a satisfactory one. An elixir of immortality? How'd you cook that up? Ugh. Leave it to you to work on something like that behind my back. It's a work in progress that hardly lives up to its name, and it would have had no effect were it not for Jia Liang's iron will. In the end, I am merely a doctor. I understand very little of the great principles governing life and death and the perpetual cycle of yin and yang. All I know is that if I'm presented with a life that deserves to be saved, I will do everything in my power to save them. And even this would have counted for nothing without Director Hu's assistance. After all, did you not tell Jia Liang to show us the way before we set off for Qingsa Village? Oops. And I'm busted. Without Director Hu nudging things in the right direction, we may not have found Jiang Li in time. No wonder he didn't mention the elixir back then. I thought he was being frank and transparent with me for once, but apparently not. <clears throat> Director Hu told me to keep her suggestion a secret, but it seems nothing escapes Dr. Baiju's attention. <laughs> Never underestimate a serpent's sense of smell. 
All I wanted was to help Jia Liang find his missing wife as soon as possible, so that he could be on his way to the afterlife without any unfulfilled wishes making the journey more difficult than it needs to be. Leave it to Boo Boo Pharmacy to snatch the perfect opportunity right out of my hands at the last hurdle. Never mind. I'll just have to put it down in the books as a deferred consideration. <sighs> one Chi Chi was enough of a conundrum. The last thing I need is another one. If I'd known this was coming, I'd have whisked him off to the Wangsheng funeral parlor the moment I found him. Y you stay away from my dad! When I grow up, I'm gonna become an even better doctor than Mom and Baiju, and cure Dad for good! Uh, uh. Oh, is that right? Well, you wouldn't be the first person who's tried to put Wangsheng Funeral Parlor out of business. If you're serious about it, you'll have your work cut out for you. Traveler, Paimon, I'll catch you all another time. Oh, is she finally gone? All's well that ends well. If you ask Paimon, we should probably do something to celebrate this hard-earned family reunion. <laughs> At times like this, a grand celebratory feast is in order! <laughs> it feels like it was a whole lifetime ago when I last talked with Zhongli and Ayu around the dinner table. Yay! Paimon can't wait! Alright, first things first, off to the market for some fresh ingredients! Let's go! Wait up! I'll come too! Baiju, thank you so, so much for everything you've done for us. Don't mention it, Jiangli. I was just doing my duty. Just your duty, huh? <sighs> Baiju, Changsheng, would you mind if we took this conversation outside? Take a look at your elixir of immortality. It's not altogether dissimilar from the poison I concocted in terms of the way it functions. I have to say, Jiangli, it was a stroke of genius to use poison to maintain life. I hope you're not too upset at me for copying your methods. No, not at all. With your intellect, even if you'd never seen my poison, I believe you would have eventually arrived at the same approach. But I'm still impressed by how quickly you managed to gain such a thorough understanding of it. Jia Liang's still only been in your care for a few days. Not just that, you even managed to improve upon the original formula. That cannot be explained by intellect alone. Baiju, be honest with me. Did you try out some of the poison on yourself? Huh. Told you the truth would surface sooner or later. Life force isn't the only thing that Changsheng's contract lets you transfer between bodies. Is it? Nothing gets past you, Jiangli. You are correct. Besides life force, Changsheng's secret art also allows for the transfer of toxins and diseases. When I treated Jia Liang for the second time, I transferred some of the poison from his body into my own. Not only did this allow me to alleviate the burden on him, but it also gave me an opportunity to study its properties. There is no need to worry about any long-term consequences to my health, however. Now that the source has been destroyed, any remaining poison in me will have already dissipated. But you took such a huge risk. If we hadn't destroyed the gods' remains back there, then even you might have... <sighs> what am I saying? I'm in no position to criticize you for this. The reason I left our master and went into hiding all those years ago was that he was getting old, and I didn't want him using up any more of his own life force to treat my husband. But in the end, how were my methods any different? I risked one life to save another, and then you tried the poison on yourself too. <sighs> it looks like both of us have ended up going the same way as our master before us. Are all disciples of Chen Yu Vale destined to turn out this way? To live a short life, haven't given away our own for the sake of others? To fight relentlessly against the natural course of life and death, whatever the cost? <sighs> Maybe our fate is sealed the moment we decide to study medicine. We are doctors, Jiangli. 
We ought never say that anyone's fate is sealed. Baiju, I can tell that, over the years, you've used the contract with Changsheng to transfer many diseases and toxins to yourself. There are so many that some of them I don't even recognize. Can you still stop before it's too late? I think you know the answer, Jiang Li. Every one of us from Chen Yu Vale believes in the same thing. Hey! Food's ready! Mom, come and join us! The Traveler taught me a load of new recipes and said even Dad will be able to taste them. Come and try them out! Yes, darling. Mom will be there in just a second. Hey, slow down. Baiju, I know I won't be able to convince you, but please don't forget that if one day you're not around anymore, Chi-Chi, Gui, and all the friends who have grown fond of you, they will all miss you dearly. There's no need to worry, Jiang Li. I know what I'm doing. I can only hope so. Hmm.